Oh yes, it's an A in 94, bitch and moan, but I don't give a fuck. Sorry, but truly, I've lost count of how much I, ha I've lost count of how many fucks I don't give. Y y you gotta know the difference. So anyways, Rebel Assassin, double nuke with the AN94 on my screen. It froze. That is really fucking gay. Hold on, let me try and fix this. Hold on. Well, th now the whole thing froze. Great. Leave it up to Sony to create a fucking shit program. Not responding. Oh, by the way, while this thing tries to respond, I, uh, I'm at 30 seconds, so let's see. Uh, what's it called? Uh, fuck. Treyarch released a new trailer for Apocalypse. Th this is what we want. I mean, this is a truly good trailer. It's it's not really, you know, you don't see fucking Vonahar, so that's an instant plus one. And you, you don't see them describing it. It's really just like... No words. It's just showing it. Well, I there is words. Okay, fuck. This, this thing totally crashed. Anyway, it, it puts uh, music in the background and it shows all four characters in the beginning of their career, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really interesting. You know, it really just transfers and shows how badass each of them are. I found it really entertaining. I I, I love to like. Oh my god. You know, if you knew me, you'd know. I don't. I don't really like anything. Even YouTubers I do like, the few that I do like, I don't like their videos. Nor do I dislike videos. You know, I, I don't like or dislike. I, I find it too much work to do any of that stuff. So as I said, this is the AN94 Double Nuke by Rebel. His last video was actually a double nuke as well. I just, I, uh, I, for, I forgot to say his name or whatever. Anyways, what I want to talk about will, I, I think you could push it into the ghost theme. But, you, you know, Call of Duty has single player. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure many of my viewers know that. Some people might not know, but uh, whatever. You know, if you don't know, eh, you're a little challenged. Anyways, I want to do a review on all the COD single players, all that I've played. The ones I haven't played is MW3, and I haven't played Black Ops 2 that much. I did play it a bit, and I can tell you, it's not going to live up to this top 10 list. Well, there's only about 10 Call of Duty. So I'm going to start with COD 4. Because COD 2 and COD 3, I did play them. I started on COD 2 actually on the PS2. But I was like 8. eight, eight I think I was 8 or something. I don't even know. So I don't remember the games. And I probably didn't. Well, I actually did play the single player. That's the only thing I could play back in the day on the PS2. I don't think it had online at all. Or Call of Duty 3 was the first COD to have online. I think. I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Anyways, last video. I said rate. Uh, fuck. Rate my my GFX. Now do you rate it? What do you want me to do? Fucking put a hot bitch with big big tits on the GFX for you guys to rate it or what? Anyways, let's let's get into what I'm talking about. Let's start for COD 4. I should start with this COD and go backwards because honestly the earlier Call of Duties had the better campaigns. COD 4. Now beautiful fucking campaign. Original. It was the first Modern Warfare COD and we were like, oh my god, Modern and, uh, I mean, I look at the Modern Warfare notion now, and I'm like, why are we still in Modern Fucking Warfare? Go back to World at War. I, I would say World War One, but World War One was so damn primitive, it'd be all single-shot weapons and shit. It wouldn't be too entertaining. Anyways, COD 4 had probably the best campaign. It, it, it introduced some very notable characters and other shit. Yeah, I, fuck that. I can't describe these things from the ground up. So all I'm gonna do is say, this one's good, this one's good, this one takes hard anal in jail, this one's pretty good. Here we go. Let's start from COD 4. Fucking beast. World of War. The single best COD campaign ever invented. One of the best COD campaigns in any game ever. If you're actually saying no, I hope you fall off the Titanic. Anyways. MW2. That continued World of War. Uh, MW. M Modern Warfare's campaign almost beautifully. I... I played the whole thing. I don't remember remember it that well, but it was so notorious. And that kill everyone in the uh, airport mission. Oh, that was just great. Oh. Ah, oh, it's a video game. It reflects their real life views. Yep, I'm going to buy a video game. Go to real life with an AK, or I think they had light machine guns, and slaughter an entire airfield. That makes perfect sense, society. Whatever. And... Black Ops 1, I think I did finish that campaign, I don't remember it, it wasn't that good, it, it was good, but it, it, it was the first campaign to like say, well that, that, that was pretty hollow, 
And MW3, I didn't play it, but I think it was decent, you know? Although MW2 campaign, going back to that, frustrated the hell out of me when you'd be hit by the butt of your gun and you'd knock out in one hit. That really fucking pissed me off. It was like knifing, except a thousand enemies could do it at once. Let's see, Black Ops 2. I did play a little bit of this campaign, not enough to judge it. But, well, hey, I can judge a campaign by looking at the fucking beta campaign. So, I, it wasn't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't bad. It's one of those campaigns that you do shit and it reflects it at the end. I don't like that. I don't like when I have to decide. I don't want the fucking game myself. Anyways. Next Call of Duty. What will the campaign be? What is the time zone of ghosts? I'm definitely looking forward to the next Call of Duty's campaign. If I even ever get to it. Because the theme of it is really interesting. It's like a Rambo. Because of course you're like a rogue troop of units. I think. I don't know that well. I'm just saying. It looks pretty decent. Anyways, comes to the close of this A90 double fucking nuke. If you enjoyed it, uh, listen to that burp far in your mouth and like the video below. And Rumsky likes boys.